talk about the throwing club. I've done a few stuff on it. Um, and then the first question I'm gonna get, I know I'll get this from a lot of people, is, hey, can you use this if you're a sidearm guy? So for me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and say, not gonna give you the feedback that it is supposed to give you. I wanna read exactly the description just so you guys get an understanding. And, um, and then I'll go ahead and provide you my personal feedback. But uh, it's called the Connector Throwing Clubs designed to help develop a connected and efficient overhand throwing pattern. So right there, overhand, doesn't say sidearm. Um, it's used at the Texas Baseball Ranch, Florida Baseball Ranch, and is utilized as a tool to help correct the out of sequence external rotation of the throwing shoulder in relation to the rotation of the torso weight bearing heel plant. Okay, it is intended for use to replicate throwing drills and has its greatest impact when used in blended drills, which I have a connection ball over there, but it's deflated and I don't wanna blow it up. All right, so helps increase biomechanical efficiency, aids kinetic chain sequencing, facilitates an efficient throwing pattern. As I think I talked about in, uh, in the last time I, I did a video on it, but um, that's literally the feedback that you get. I think it's gonna vary per individual because everyone's got like their own different arm path and arm slot and release point. For me, I think it works perfectly because of my path and because of my release point. Uh, you know, very connected, very overhead. So for me personally, this would have been a great tool when I was overhauling my arm path that I've talked a lot about. Um, but it literally gives you that type of feedback on if you're disconnected, if there's any sequence throughout the, the delivery that's you know disconnected, you'll feel it. And it, it, I think it's a, it's a good tool to make sure that you're getting that feedback instead of just, you know, keep hammering home those um, inefficient repetitions. So I'll give you a few examples. And um, like I said, it, it's all going to depend on, I guess, your arm path, arm slot, release point. But if you are a guy that um, that is wanting to you know, overhaul your throwing motion to increase biomechanical efficiency and to increase power output and, and command and all of these things could be a good tool for you. So a couple variations that I actually like to do with it, I actually start in like a rocker drill and I'll do like a walk-in, same as like the plyo stuff really. Dude, I would be a solid freaking hatchet thrower. So I haven't really talked much about the throwing club. I'm gonna do a product review on this soon. I'll probably incorporate this video into the product review. But I'm really big, I think, for those of you guys who've been following me for a while, really big advocate on the arm path and making sure that our arm path is efficient as possible. We're not getting too disconnected away from our body and the throwing club provides really good feedback for just that. But in that same breath, we need to understand that everyone's feedback is gonna be different. And even though it's a great tool and I actually really enjoy using it, it's not necessarily gonna provide great feedback and be a great tool for you. But how do we learn, right? How do we know? So I like to do, when I throw the throwing club, kind of like a preset rocker type thing where I'm transferring that, pressing back. That's why I love the king of the hill in this drill is because it gives that feedback of are we, are we establishing energy into the ground? And then are we able to express that energy forward and then blend that with a throwing club to make sure that our arm patterns are where we want it. So it's gonna look something like this. Well, sorry, I'll rephrase that. This is what it's gonna look like for me. 